The community gathered at Jefferson Community College on Tuesday to hear from the candidates that are in the running to become the next Jefferson County Sheriff. County Sheriff Colleen O'Neill announced that she would not seek re-election in October of 2021, leaving the position open to retired Deputy Peter Barnett, Detective Perry Golden, and current Deputy Gerald Delosh. All three candidates shared similar viewpoints on recruitment efforts, the ongoing opioid crisis, Second Amendment rights, as well as their passion for the area and protecting the community. You will have 100% commitment if I'm elected sheriff. What are your expectations? What are your ideas for the local sheriff's department? There might be something great out there. Let's work together. First off, this is way outside my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this because I believe in it so strongly. I'll put my dedication and my commitment up against anybody. I've worked at the sheriff's office for over 20 years. Ask anybody I work with. I am passionate about what I do. I've been business experience, leadership experience, 26 years of law enforcement experience. Let me put that to work for you. I've been there, yes, this is my 19th year. I've been doing the job for 20 years. If I'm elected, I can guarantee you, I'm not going to be a one-term sheriff. I'm going to be at least a two-term. I'm passionate about everybody who works there. I'm not saying my door is open, you call me, I will come to you. Community members were able to ask the three candidates their questions throughout the debate, and each candidate shared what would be at the forefront of their mind if elected. Well, obviously it's the, uh, the drug problem here in the community, but also there's a lot of other things going on. Uh, as I said before, um, I don't want the homeless population to rise. Uh, the homeless, uh, you know, equals more crime and more people headed to jail. Uh, we want to get these people working. We don't want them on the street. Uh, another thing is pistol permits. Speed up the process. Get a little bit more consistency with the time frame. And also the staff. The staff is the most important down there. Um, as sheriff, um, I want to look out, make sure that people are happy. If I'm elected initially is to just make sure there's a smooth transition. The Sheriff's Department is well run on both sides of the fence, both in corrections and road patrol and our civil division as well. Um, I want to ensure that there's a good smooth transition, that we don't backslide. And then from then, um, you know, we'll take a look at the operation, see where we can tweak a few things. Golden's tweaks included drug enforcement, addiction training, education initiatives, and giving everyone a voice at the table. Mostly, uh, Listen to the guys, uh, talk to the lieutenants, talk to the public, see where we can make things a little bit better. We have limited resources and I want to make the most of them that I can. Retention of jail, um, not, not the inmates, you know, our COs. Um, getting in there, figuring what the issues are. And the, and the other issue is going to be the opioid epidemic. Because with speaking with some of the users, it's not so much the heroin or the molly or whatever, it's a fentanyl that is 100 times more addictive than heroin itself. Delosh also explained how his experience would allow him to excel in the position. I know the community in the Bay better than uh, a road trooper or a deputy uh, in that area. The campaign for the position will continue throughout the next couple of months, with New York State primaries scheduled to take place on June 28th. For ABC 50 Now in Watertown, I'm Delaney Kepner. For more local news, go to informny.com or download the ABC 50 mobile app.